Yes. I don't like what you're talking about. Okay. I do not think that you should be cheating on nobodies. Oh, Kurds. How dare you? How dare you cheat on an American woman? Mm hmm. How dare you do that? I cannot believe you, Mr. Paul. You, I thought you was a nice guy. I thought you was, was nice, but you are not nice at all. You be cheating on them little ladies. Mm, Kurt, what you do is you see, you seem to like the little K leaves. And what you do is you cheat on them. How dare you? How dare you? Mm hmm. This makes no sense. This makes no sense. <laughs> it's true, Shaquifla. This is Jen C. Kelly. You know what Paul did again? He cheated on me again. I looked away for five seconds. I looked away for five seconds. And then all of a sudden, he cheated on me. He treated me like pure dirt. And he hurt my feelings. <laughs> oh, and I've been waiting for him to call me back. And it's been weeks. He just sits around and you know what he does? He doesn't even hit me up. You know, he cheated on me. And then I forgave him. But now I think he's cheating on me again. <laughs> he's talking to so many other women. And, you know, my friend says I should just dump him, but I can't. I just, because I love him. He's so special to me. He treats me horribly, but I love him. I really, really do. <laughs> Ooh. 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 More little Kayleys. That was actually a walrus. I don't like walruses either. That's one thing I agree with them on. I don't like fat girls. You know, but I'll never tell them they're fat because I don't want to be mean. So we all have a designated, we have a duff in our friend group. She's the designated ugly fat friend. <laughs> that makes me laugh, but now I'm thinking about him cheating on me again. And she wasn't even that pretty. Well, actually she was, but I don't want to admit it. She was pretty hot and that made me really insecure. And then I stalked her Instagram page. Can you believe that? He broke up, you know, not only did he cheat on me. <laughs> oh, that bastard Paul. You know what he did? You know what he did? He cheated on me with one of my freaking cousins. I couldn't believe it. And I said, how could you do this to me? And he's like, well, whatever. And I still took him back because I love him. <laughs> I'm stopping my pain in the dark. <laughs> I'm stopping my little feet. <sighs> now I'm hyperventilating. You guys have made me all mad. Oh, you should not be all over that boy. Miss Gen Z Curly. This is Shaquifla. Shaquifla Jenkins. And I don't think you need to deal with any of that nonsense. You don't understand, Shaquifla. He really means the world to me. <laughs> He's shown so much value in cheating on me over and over and over again. I want to be his wife, but he will never marry me. Oh, that's horrible, Kurt. That's horrible. Legionnaires, you night. Oh, this one's going to be a good one today. This one's... <laughs> uh, I was thinking about this one for a long time. And gentlemen, I've been married before, before, and I was divorced one time. That's the only divorce I will ever need in my entire life. I will never get divorced again. You can interpret it. You can interpret that whichever way you want to. Donkey, punch the like button as you come on in. Finger the subscribe button. Comment in the comment section. I figured out how to start these streams early. Thank God. But then I got delayed. And I had to set the stream back. But now it's up and running. And I think what's important to note here is that cheating on your woman, cheating on your wife, cheating on your girlfriend is a good thing. And you're going to get varying levels of, oh, that's, that's terrible. How could you? Well, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. No, it's not. We're going to get into it. We are going to get into it. Make sure you donkey punch that friggin' like button. How could you say that, bro? I'm Soupy Sam, also known as Game Guy Ronnie. We're all the same person. Because we all pedestalize women and we treat women better than men. 
Why am I going this way? I should be going this way. Uh, but I think it's fascinating that we really haven't gotten into this whole cheating debate, cheating argument. And I've cheated before in the past. And I would do it, technically, if I had a girlfriend or a wife or whatever. Again, we'll see. But I would do it. In all reality, it's not cheating at all. And we could end this stream right now by just saying that men can cheat because biologically, well, I mean, if you're talking about relationships and stuff and equal partnerships and all that nonsense, you can get into the whole debate of is it emotionally a good thing and all this other nonsense, but in all reality, biologically, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for cheating. If it wasn't for guys going outside the marriage and hooking up with chicks, right? Guys, there's no way that you're going to populate the entire you know, world by just having marriages. That's not how it works. You're going to have guys cheating, being single, hooking up, and all this other stuff outside of wedlock, right? So there's that factor right there. But there's also the miscellaneous factors that we're really going to get into today. And I think you're going to hear a lot of little ladies get all upset in general about this topic. And it's wrong and it's bad and it's mean and all this. But at the end of the day, it's a good thing. Because it shows... There's, there's so many... Well, we'll get into it, okay? Just hit... <laughs> Cold Deep says K... Question mark. I don't know. K to you too. But uh, yeah, this is a funny one and a funny one. Because when you guys take a look at cheating, if, like, let's say if a woman cheats, if a woman cheats, what she's really doing is trying to get out of the relationship. She's trying to move on. She's trying to move up and onwards, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But. It really serves no biological purpose other than she's going against her duties. And her duties are to follow, support, and save. Save her sexuality. She is not supposed to go out here and use her sexuality for other men at all, never. But if there is nowhere in the contract of you leading, providing, and protecting that says that you need to actually be faithful. Now, I know you'll take marriage vows, some of you in the Western marriage vows, and to be honored and faithful and all this, but we all know that's a bunch of nonsense, and it's all a joke, because to love and to cherish and to hold and all this, in sickness and in health, whereas more than whatever you want to say, the divorce statistics are 40, 50, 60 percent, it doesn't really matter. People break vows all the time. So in all reality, the faithfulness that we're supposed to do all these things equally makes absolutely no sense. Because if a woman's unfaithful, you will never know who the biological father is of the children that come out of her. And that is the biggest problem with women being unfaithful. Right there. Undebatable. She is, if she's a if she's cheating, you will never be sure who the baby's father is. And that's why guys have a big problem with women with high body counts. Guys, it's not just because it's gross and unattractive to us, but it's because we know, look at this girl, she's dying, she's running her butt off. We know that we can never trust who the baby's actual father is. And this is a big problem. And this is why women's chastity has been protected for so many generations. And why guys can go and sleep around and not have as many issues, nearly as much. As long as he's not bringing home kids from another family. I mean, he could go off and have a whole other family if he wanted to. This is just facts, man. You can, you can debate the emotional part of this till you blew in the face. Dude, that guy was flying. He was doing like 20, 30 miles an hour. 
Might want to slow down, son. <laughs> God damn. You hit a pothole or something, dude? Woo! Especially with no helmet. Oh, that would be brutal. So yeah, we've never really covered the cheating topic, and mainly because I'm not in relationship right now, and I, you know, I'm not in the relationship mood. But I was thinking about this, and I'm like, cheating is not that big of a deal for guys. And in fact, it isn't even cheating. You're just exercising options and all the other. I think, what's his name? Um, Kevin Samuels went over this. He called it exercising options. And in all reality, that's exactly what you're doing. His whole argument, now that I think about it, was, what was it again? Um, if you are providing uh, more than the average man, then you should be getting more of the benefits. And I think that's an interesting angle because technically it's true because if the average guy is making, I don't know, 50 grand a year and you're making 100 grand, you should probably get twice the benefits. That actually makes it quite a lot of sense. In fact, that would make no sense for you to be faithful at all because you're providing the income of two men. Do you see what I'm saying? So you should probably get twice the benefits, twice the women. <laughs> and that's why kings over all these years have always been polygamous, right? Multiple wives. Because they're able to produce you know, the incomes of multiple, multiple men. And that actually makes a lot of sense from that standpoint. I find it, uh, I think that he's right. But also from the practical standpoint and from the actual relationship standpoint, the vast majority of women benefit way, way more from having us with them than we do being with them. They actually derive a lot more benefit. Which means that if they're deriving more benefit from being with us, us paying their bills, keeping a roof over their head, making sure they're not out in the streets, then guess what? These two right here, they're cute. The one on the right with the little short hair, she's cute. <laughs> she's like, whoa, whoa. she's about to fall off her skateboard, man. Kaylee's are cute, man. They are. They're adorable. They have their, they have their moments. She's probably like an LA six. She's pretty. Her friend wasn't pretty, but she was pretty. <sighs> but they derive a lot more benefit from bringing in relationships with with us than we do with being. Than, you know, than we do having them with us. Because what do they actually provide? If you really, really break it down, not much. And that's what makes it completely hilarious when they start talking about, I'm worth seven figures and six figures and all this nonsense. You just got to shake your head and say, which planet are you living on? Are you for real? <laughs> Have you looked in the mirror lately? Hey, what is this guy doing? Dude? He's walking behind me and talking at the top of his lungs. <sighs> Hold on a sec. We're gonna take a. We're gonna pause. I'm gonna check out the Kaylee's for a second. Hey, Kaylee, how you doing? Oh, you know, just playing volleyball. But I think it's interesting because. A lot of guys will defend this, like the Steve Harveys, and say, oh, cheating is wrong, and cheating is bad, and it's morally reprehensible. Yet these are the same guys that are defying God's will. We're not going to get into morality today because most of you are sinners. Most of you are so full of crap, it's not even funny. Most of you chest-stumping wannabe alpha simps are the biggest hypocrites on the planet. You purport to be morally superior and morally subject to, you know, no consequences, but in the same breath, you let your women do absolutely anything that they want. And it's a woman's... Per and this is that whole baby boomer... God, I wish I could take every baby boomer and just... Brrrap, every baby boomer. With that, that friggin' romanticism nonsense. Oh, everything is perfect and win-win-win situations and oh, everything is just... I, I can't even deal with these guys. I was reading this one book 
that somebody gave to me <laughs> from the CEO of Whole Foods, and this guy was out in La La Land romanticism nonsense. They pushed so hard for, I can't even. The romanticism era died back in the 15, 1600s, okay? To all you baby boomers out there, Mr. Sir, Mr. Syrup, Mr. Weak Jellyback Spine. Look at, this, look at this chick right here. Look at this chick right here. She has more testosterone than the average baby boomer. Well, let's not even go there. She has more testosterone than the average young guy now, too, as well. But I swear to God, the whole decrease in testosterone started around baby boomer era. The weakest generation. Let's just, they're not the weakest generation, but they definitely started that. So, anyway. It just gets on my nerves, man. They still, st they still go for that crap. <laughs> and definitely my generation was much more... <laughs> Cynical. There's no doubt about it. Very cynical. My gen you guys, if you ever watch Terminator 2, the freaking the kid John Connor in there is your quintessential Gen X is just just a burnout. <laughs> I'm a, <laughs> I'm in the generation of burnouts. <laughs> just like oh whatever, man. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, cheating on your woman it's a good thing. And here's another reason. There's a lot of reasons, but one of the biggest reasons is a lot of you ladies do not understand that sharing your man is actually beneficial to you. And I know this is very hard for you to understand because you want to keep them all to yourself. But what happens is when you share him, you get a lot of the responsibilities taken off of your back. A lot of the heavy lifting because you girls aren't always in the mood. Sometimes you have a headache. Sometimes you're, it's that time of the month, yada, yada. Well, guess what? That would, it would really help if you had some backup. If you had some ladies there that he was seeing on the side. And see what a lot of you Western ladies don't understand is worldwide, most women tell their men to go, off, go out and let off some steam, if you know what I mean. They say that as long as you don't fall in love with these 304s, as long as you don't bring babies back home, they're perfectly fine with it. And the reason for this is it gives them a time to relax. And here's the funniest part of all that a lot of you ladies do not understand about men. When he goes off and hooks up with somebody else, he actually appreciates coming back home to you. I know this is very hard for you to understand, but when he goes out, and he, we, when he's with some crazy, liberal, wild chick who's a side chick, he comes back home and he actually loves you even more. And the reason for this is because he sees all the things he does have at home, which is stability. He doesn't want to marry some crazy wild chick. He doesn't want that. Not in the long run. He sees no benefit in that. And in fact, it's actually a massive detractor because most guys are not going to try to wife up some wild, crazy, outrageous chick. They're just not going to do it. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I wanted to ask you. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, like, oh, wow, we have a baby finally. Oh, two babies. But yeah, your average Kaylee doesn't understand these things she doesn't understand that if she has her guy go off and be with some wild skank because see here's the problem the map <laughs> most aws are the skanks <laughs> they're the wild ones when a guy comes home he wants to come home to peace and quiet and when he comes home to you after you understand that he's going off and being with some side chick, then guess what? He's going to be more relaxed. He's going to be more, he's going to be more loving than ever because he's coming home to peace and quiet instead of some crazy wild side chick. And that's why in many cultures, the mistress is normal. 
Guys, in China, the mistresses are normal. I know I always, I always bring up China, guys, because China fascinates me because it's one of the oldest civilizations. They've been around forever. 10,000, what, 10,000, 11,000 years. <laughs> they must know something. I know it's seen, there's a lot of friction between the U.S. and China, but China buys up most of our real estate anyway. They own a lot of the U.S. I know you guys like to thump your chest about America, but most of America is actually bought up by other countries. The commercial real estate, the residential real estate. Guys, you think that all this stuff here is owned by Americans? You're out of your mind. The amount of Chinese influence is unbelievable. They're just quiet about it behind the scenes. <laughs> Come on, man. Use your brain. But yeah, I had, um, I have cheated. I cheated on my ex. And boy, here's the funniest part about the whole cheating thing, guys. They're never going to leave you. Especially after, after you cheat on your girl. <laughs> you know what she does? She tries even harder. Because <laughs> she knows the she knows that you are so sought after and that you are so high value that literally <laughs> you can step on a, out on her any, at any time. See, that's the funniest part about this. When you guys cheat, it actually strengthens your relationship. <laughs> Isn't that twisted? And I'm no relationship expert. I'm no coach. Consultant, maybe, but not a coach. <laughs> you step out on her, and now she is all worked up. She is blown away that you have that much more value than she does. And she knows it. She's blown away that you, Poindexter, you, Mr. Nice Guy, Mr weak no chin having sob she's blown away that other chicks want you and it turns her on i know guys now for a traditional foreign woman she's going to get extraordinarily jealous she's going to be jealous as hell but that's okay again it strengthens things i'm proud of these girls check it out guys I'm proud of these girls. Keep going. Hey, it's Fat Boy. <laughs> he called me Clown Boy before or something. I don't know what he called me. Maybe he was drunk. <laughs> we have too much fun over here. Wade Nobis, Martushi, Retro Game and Cartoon Network. God, I got to make an acronym for you. WNM. R A G C H. Jesus. Exactly. Most of the action figure toys, video games, or notebooks that Americans have come from foreign countries. Wow. I didn't know that. Actually, I have a lot of comic books too. That's some good advice. Your press. Wade is on point. He makes a lot. Of Jeez, I never even thought of that, man. It makes a lot of sense. A lot of the entertainment that we have comes from other countries. And look, guys, I'm not to say that America doesn't have its... Hey, Kaylee, how are you doing? Oh, fine. You know, just riding on my back. But dude, this girl is tall as hell, man. She's like my height. She's Louise. What it really boils down to is it's okay that these other countries have a piece of our pie over here in the West, we got to start understanding that because people still cheat. Here's the funniest part about all this, guys. People still cheat anyway. The problem is when women cheat, it's completely destructive. Oh, this Asian girl is running, man. Look at her. Go for it, girl. Go, go, go. She's killing it, dude. Here's another little Ling Ling. Keep going, Ling Ling. These girls are in shape, dude. Look, nothing but respect. Oh, no, wait. She's Latina. Sometimes Latinas, see, we look like the Ling Lings. <sighs> but yeah, guys, cheating, <laughs> especially if she... <laughs> by the way, most traditional foreign women don't care if you step out on them. They just don't want to know about it. And by the way, the first time I knew about this, I was like, oh, okay, I get it. I get it. Because remember, gentlemen, when you're with the TFW, she sees you as the supreme beings you are her go-to guy you report to god she reports to you that's how it goes the kids report to her 
right? And again, I'm not even religious, but it makes it actually makes a lot of sense, guys. It makes a hell of a lot of sense. The liberal environment. Oh, this Kaylee's pretty. How's it going, Kaylee? Oh. Hey, hey now. What's up, Kaylee? <laughs> she just looked at me like, and I looked at her like, and she went, <laughs> uh, she wasn't even that beautiful. She was just like, her energy was, ooh, ooh, she was like, ooh, that's what I'm talking about, girl, keep it up. Keep that snappy energy. I love that. Some Kaylee's, man, they got great energy. The problem is, again, guys, unfortunately, the society that they live in just, <sighs> look, to my AWs out there, I, I understand. To all my AWs who complain, email me and say, you know, we understand, you know, we are with you and all this and we want to, we want to be good women. All. I get where you're coming from, but unfortunately you're working in a cesspool. You have to go overseas like us. Literally, if you want to live in, if you want to have a good, oh, they wanted to play volleyball. That's weird. They want him to go play volleyball. This guy. This guy's buff as hell, dude. I'll come over and play. If you guys need an extra. <laughs> when every time I look at the labels on one of the items, it always says made in Pakistan, Brazil, but you're making them. Yeah. Guys, it's a global economy. It always, it has been for decades. So to say that Merck is the greatest, it doesn't really make any sense. That's really stupid and ignorant. The dogs agree. You hear the dogs? They agree. <laughs> Whenever I make an excellent point, the dogs agree. <laughs> the dogs always agree, gentlemen. That's how we do over here. And this guy, why is he driving this way? He, I don't think you know what you're doing, son. Uh, oh, okay. He's in fire department. Oh, not bad. It's the fire department. They got new cars. They got new cars. Need the fire department. Let's do that. So yeah, cheating's I love it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we finally got some. We finally got some people interacting. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about, guys? Oh man. <laughs> uh, see, I, I'm I'm always curious at this if they get <laughs> Because I love, I love cheating on my girlfriend. <laughs> oh, I had too much fun with these streams, man. <laughs> oh, sh this is too much fun, guys. And that was a baby boomer. I bet you five bucks. But yeah, this is how it's, this is how it's really done. Out in the real world, the real world vibes, real people. Oh, there's a real big dog. The size of that freaking dog. That's a big ass dog. Ah. But yeah, cheating on your girl is a good thing. Over and. <laughs> oh, I do it around. I gotta do it around more post wall. Because it's just so goddamn funny. I'm gonna keep cheating on my girlfriend, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh this is too much fun man this is just too much fun here's a kaylee oh man she's really interesting what's up kaylee she <laughs> kaylee's really interesting is everybody drunk today or something i'm just having a good time it's a freaking tuesday bro don't you have work tomorrow <laughs> Oh, cheat on my wife all the time. Cheating is, it, <laughs> why is this such a taboo subject? Because I get it. I get it. In the West, you take your vows and all this. Yeah, I get it. Well, overseas is a completely different ball game. And I think what's interesting is the last, I was with this Chinese chick that I was dating. And that is the biggest freaking hel helicopter. That helicopter is huge. Holy cow. Why is he so close? What, what is he up to? Look at that guy. Look at the size of that freaking helicopter, dude. What is he up to? His flight got it close. 
Oh, it's a police helicopter. He's looking for criminals on the beach. Baywatch daily. So yeah, I was uh, dating this Chinese chick and she even said, she's like, look, I don't care what you do, just don't tell me about it. That was just the coolest thing I ever... <laughs> because it makes you actually value them even more. Because then you're like, why would I ever want to cheat on you? This girl's amazing. <laughs> but in all reality, I saw the chicks on the side. But still, just her saying that just goes to show that she knows how it goes. And a lot of the guys that are average and who may think, oh, well, I wouldn't do that to my wife. I wouldn't do that to my girl. Gentlemen, what you have to understand is to keep your test up, it's not just for her. It's not just for you. It's for the good of everybody. And the reason for this is when you guys get in a relationship, you may not know this, but your testosterone is actually decline. Your testosterone levels start to dip into the sea. And one way to keep these higher is to be with young, attractive women on the side. And in fact, look, let's just be, can we be completely honest about this? Most guys do do this. They exercise options on the side. And you don't even need to be high value to do any of that crap. Because in all reality, You're a guy. You need to get keep that testosterone going. You need to have choice in order to keep your libido up and to keep you motivated. Let's just be real, guys. At the end of the day, there are very few guys who just want to be with one woman. And to shame our biology is kind of against the whole point. Right? It's against the whole point. I hear all these dudes out here saying oh i'm a pill this i'm a crimson capsule that and yet in the same breath they cowtell and buckle to women's demands and women's biology but they're never there promoting their own biology the only real channel that does that is f and f which shout out to them you know sometimes i very i don't agree with them at all but on certain things, when he gets into the biology of things and how it's time to stop being ashamed of who we are, I'm definitely with them on that. There's a lot of Kayleys out today. I'm kind of surprised. It's a Tuesday, man. Everybody's playing volleyball, riding their bikes. She definitely needs to be faithful. If she's not faithful, you're never going to know where the child, the child has come from, who the child's father is. You can never be for certain. You told me he was at in all. India right now. Yeah. And by the way, this used to be common back in the day. Men used to have mistresses. And I love how everybody keeps saying, oh, we're progressive and we need to change and society's changed. Society hasn't changed one effing bit, son. Society is still the same. We still run things very similarly. The only thing is the women have adopted male characteristics. They've had to adopt male roles. That's what you're really talking about, son. See, all of you who talk about this nonsense are my sons because you don't understand what you're talking about. You don't have any life experience. I could tell. Well, women are this way and men are that way. Okay, and the left, the more quote-unquote progressive... Come on, camera. There we go. Look at her go. She's still running. I'm so proud of you, Lingling. Keep it up. She's shuffling. <laughs> She's still you know, these guys, they keep the progress, you know, these more progressives and liberals and these young guys, they really just don't understand what the hell they're talking about. Because they keep saying over and over again that society has changed. No, it hasn't. It really hasn't. Because, son, what you don't understand is biology has not changed. In order for society to change, biology would have to change in general. It's still, guys are still building houses. We got more technology. What really has changed? What fundamentally has changed? 
Well, women have taken on masculine roles. That's what you're really saying. Women have been liberalized in the West. So what? Society as a whole, at its core, is still the same. We still want to do things a specific way. Correct? We still want to act on certain desires, right? I don't care what anybody says. Biology is part of society, guys. Because it's going to influence a lot of your decisions. Hello, Latina. Get you smiling. Ooh, I love a pretty smile. It is beautiful. So all these biological urges that we have and all the things that we're supposed to do, that influences how society acts. So yeah, in the West, women have adopted male characteristics and are very, very confused about their identity. But that does not mean that men change and become more emotional and more feminine. No, son, you are wrong. Because what you're really saying is you want men to become like women because women have become like men you want to, us to acquiesce to their demands and we're not doing it you still need houses built you still need the ground paved you still need cars made you need the electricity to come on stupid and when you start trying to get guys to go against their biology now you screwed yourself and that's what's happening right now. Why do you think so many guys are walking away? Because we've told them for too many years that they need to go against their biology. No, don't cheat. No, don't go out here and get a good woman. Get a crap woman with a bad attitude who has nothing to bring to the table. Not only that, get a bunch of 304s telling you that they want multi-millionaire guys. And you're going to get nothing in return. You're not even going to get a woman. You're not even going to get an ugly one. You're not even going to get a fat one. You think the most that most men are going to get Period. And that means cheating. <laughs> Isn't that right, Miss Milf? <laughs> right there. <laughs> She's looking good, man, for a Milf. Oof. She's probably early 30s. In excellent shape. Still got a little baby fat on her. <laughs> I can't believe you're promoting cheating. That's terrible. You've already cheated on me 50. Don't pay attention to me. Hold on a second. You know what? Maybe maybe if I send him some 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 naughty pictures. Okay, I took a bunch of pictures. Let's see if he pays attention. Send. Ah, it's been 10 seconds and he still hasn't hit me up. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. He's probably cheating on me again. It's making me sad. It's making me cry. <laughs> All these freaking normies are scared of me. I feel bad for Gen Z Kelly. No, I don't. So at the end of the day, we can listen to all the libtard nonsense about how you're supposed to do all these things that make absolutely no sense biologically. But at the end of the day, it's not our problem. What is up with this fat guy? Fat weirdo on the bike. Look at he kind of like rides around on his bike, his little rider, and then he weaves. <laughs> He's a weirdo, but more power to him. Got some kids selling something outside. All right, let's go back. I don't feel like walking all day. Yeah, guys, our biological urges are pretty important because that's how we propagate the species. Why do you think so many of these weirdo leftist guys can't even procreate? They have low. Yeah, haven't you guys ever noticed the lowest testosterone guys are normally liberal progressive guys? They won't even have any children anyway. Do you see how nature just snuffs out the weak? You know who nature goes after? Liberal guys and liberal women. That's who nature goes after. The weakest of the weak takes them out, torpedoes them. This Kaylee is running for sweet freedom. She's running for sweet freedom, dude. Look at her. 
She's tired, man. She's a little thin. she's a little thin for my taste, but but that's who nature comes after first, right? They come after more of the left wingers. They just eliminate them because definitely we are not procreating nearly as much as we used to back in the day. I mean, it's not even close, and that's why you see most, uh, so many other societies coming in with children. And by the way. Children out of wedlock used to be called bastards for a reason. Because they couldn't fa carry on the family legacy, etc. But it was still, it still happened. And the wives stayed with their husbands. They didn't leave, guys. For a reason. They need that security. I don't, look, to my AWs out there, I don't care how much money you make. I don't care how much you swear up and down. You're just like a dude and you're making money like a dude and hot girl. You're so full of crap because in the same breath, you complain about how little you make compared to men. Number one. <laughs> and number two, your personal lives are an abject failure. You can, t you can brag all you want about your professional life. At the end of the day, what you want is a family. You can look at all the most successful, beautiful women of the past, and they normally say the same thing. They either are dying for a family or they're completely bitter about men. So you can talk all this girl power nonsense that you want. Here's another thin Kaylee. Guys, there's so many Kayleys out here. If you guys ever want Kaylee's, you come to L.A. Holy moly. But no matter what, it doesn't really matter. This Kaylee's very thin. That's a very thin Kaylee. Oh, here's another one. What are you up to, Kaylee? Oh, you know, just walking my dad. Now, this is a very, very <laughs> confused Kaylee. <laughs> she looks a little confused. She, she's a little... <laughs> okay. But yeah, it's it's just part of biology, man. Oh boy. There's a little lingling with the with the family. She's gonna be really pretty when she's older, man. <laughs> really pretty. You can tell. But yeah, this is how it goes. This is the way of things. And unfortunately, we've ignored biology for too long. And don't worry, guys, it's going to make a comeback. But this is just another reason for you to move to another country, a non-Western country, where essentially you can go ahead and exercise your testosterone. Testosterone is our lifeblood, gentlemen. It gives us our energy. When you are over 40 and you don't have testosterone, guys, you are going to be tired all the time. You are going to be exhausted. If you have high body fat and you're 30 plus, you are going to be tired. You're going to have no libido. You are going to feel like crap with your triple chins and belly. There's a reason why I got so much energy, guys. And I'm not on TRT. I'm not taking any testosterone supplements, no steroids, none of that crap. Dude, I'm not even taking caffeine right now. For real. And my libido's... <laughs> pretty decent for 44. <laughs> I wish it wasn't so high sometimes. You know what I mean? Isn't that right, Kaylee? Oh, yeah, you know. What are you talking about? This is Latina. Latina's back. Latina's back. And this guy's buff. What am I doing? <laughs> Why is everybody out today, dude? It's like a Tuesday. It's very strange. <sighs> yeah. So, yeah. I'm going to get a bunch of moral arguments later on. Oh, that's horrible. How could you how could you go behind her back? I, I don't think you should go behind her back. I think you should let her know from the get-go. Look, I'm going to exercise my options if they're available. Deal with it. But if you exercise your options, you're out the door. And if she doesn't like it, kick rocks. <laughs> you, <laughs> you want to know the funniest thing? And, and I'm going to tie this back together. I was watching after the Jake Paul fight when he beat Dylan Dan da uh, Dylan Dennis barely whatever, which he looked like he was like two weight. He looked like massively bigger. Look at this, Kaylee. Look at how she runs. She's 
He's trying. And I, he's up on the shoulders of his brother. And he's literally, he's, he's gushing to N Nina Agdahl. And she's just looking at him with that smile, that fake phony. She's just like, oh, I'm just waiting until we get married so I can divorce your ass. And I'm thinking to myself, he's trying so hard. I, I, sometimes I really feel bad for simps, man. They really don't get it. Oh, man, what's going on? <laughs> She's not really my type. But I like her skin tone. I like the way her shoes running with her chest. <laughs> anyway, he's um, you know, he's he's professing his love to Nina Agdal, and maybe we can have kids. And I'm thinking in my head, man, this poor simp. He's a good-looking dude. He's ripped. He's got money, and he has essentially. He thinks this is the best he can do. You know what I mean? It's like, dang, dude, is that is your self-esteem really that low, son? It just goes to show, gentlemen, you can be a good-looking dude. He's like Chad-looking. Chadwick Fairbanks and all this money, and yet still a dumbass. <laughs> and guys, he would you know he would never cheat on her because he's just too in love. And this girl has been with so many other guys. And she just, she, <laughs> the, her smile was like, oh, oh, you're so sweet. Oh, I don't believe anything you say. Oh, you know what I mean? I need you to pay my bills. That was her smile. And I was like, dang, man, this poor guy. What a, what a, <laughs> what a freaking dumbass. <laughs> I got no problem. In fact, I got no problem with Nina Agdahl. She can be, she can be as wild as she wants. Guys, if these guys are dumb enough to fall for it, haven't you guys ever noticed I don't shame 304s and wild chicks? and I, Guys, I don't shame them. I make fun of them. I think it's funny. I tease them. But I'm not going to shame them. To all the, to, look, to all the girls out there that love being wild and hooking up, keep going. <laughs> get to the next level. <laughs> level up. If you're at 300 bodies, get to 400. I, I, it really doesn't, bo it doesn't bother me. But at the end of the day, you will have to answer to this. There's going to be consequences for it. But I'm not going to shame you for it. Never. Why would I shame you for it? It's your life. How bad? But yeah, it was just funny. <laughs> poor Jake Paul. Oh, this poor guy. He doesn't even know what's coming. And it's so funny because all the older guys know what's coming. You, it's like you can already see everything playing out. And he's going to divorce her. And Oh. Poor guy. Poor, poor, poor guy. Now, if he was in the other position and he had a decent woman and he's like, this is how it's going to be and he didn't live in this country, it would be a whole different story. Because in all reality, guys, even if you cheated in this country and you got divorced, it wouldn't count against you anyway. Do you see what I'm saying? Because we still have no-fault divorce. So, but yeah, as far as going, moving overseas, gentlemen, it's almost expected for you to have a mistress. Now, you can try to act like the good guy and, oh, I would never do that to my wife. You're so full of crap. To all you guys out there who say you would never do that to your wife, if you had a free pass, if you had a hall pass, you would do it in a freaking heartbeat. You are such a liar. These guys are the biggest liar. Sips are such liars, man. They really get on my nerves. <laughs> more, more fans. <laughs> They're smiling and waving and stuff. They're nice people. Oh, oh man. Is this a... Is this a... Is this a LA... <laughs> Look at her with her cast. She's a... She's your typical milf who's trying to keep her youth. But it's not... It's not happening. <laughs> And more power to you, girl. More power to you. You keep going, but yeah, that's not happening. Look at, look at this little cave leaf with purple hair. Uh huh. I have the the very tight, very tight walk. Uh, where they sashay with the left hand. <laughs> Kay leaf. She was cute, man. She had an incredible body. Holy mackerel. So, yeah, you guys would take a free hall pass, and 
You know what really gets you know what really gets me? People that do PDA, you know what I mean? It's really annoying. It just gets on my nerves. I don't care what gender you are or whatever, but it's on my freaking nerves. Anyway, you would take that hall pass in a second. You know you would. You would take that hall pass in a second, Mr. Simple. I would never cheat on my wife. Oh, you're just scared that she's going to leave you. And see, what a lot of guys don't understand is the more you are yourself... Just in and I'm not giving a relationship advice, okay? I'm just saying the more you are yourself as a guy and you indulge in certain activities, the more you will be respected. That's just the universal truth. The more you simp, the more you are a Jake Paul who kisses your would-be wife's ass, you know? I cheat on my girlfriend all the time. <laughs> Where is it? That guy he went by. <laughs> He's like, I cheat on my wife all the time. Oh, that was the funniest crap. He was drunk though, I think. What is going on today, man? Everybody's drinking. Everybody's having a good time. But I screamed it out and he screamed it back at me. <laughs> I was like, I cheat on my girlfriend. He's like, I cheat on my wife all the time. Oh, man, we have too much fun on these streams, man. We have way too much fun. <laughs> We're always getting into this. <laughs> Oh, look at that. This Kaylee is really tall. Gosh, she's almost as tall as me. What are you up to, Kaylee? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm just walking with my headphones very gracefully. Yeah. But she's like a six. Oh, she's like my head. She's cute, man. She's not mad. She's like a six. Wade no boys says, level up. Savage 1024 The Punisher says, How are you today? I'm a, I'm a bit down at the moment, but I thought I'd give you a shout out. Savage, what are you down about, buddy? You got the world by the balls, son. You got two arms. You probably got two arms, two legs, and a ton of gravitas. Come to the dark side. Come to, well, technically, is this the dark side? Yeah. Kind of. Sometimes. Guys, you guys have nothing to be down about. I know we have up days and down days, but let me tell you something. I'm not going to tell you anything. What in our life do we have that we do not appreciate? We got our hands. We got our balls downstairs. We've got our muscles. We've got the feet to move to create action to move freaking mountains gentlemen this whole channel is about being a guy where we need to be a guy and we can't do that unfortunately in the west but we're going to do it overseas we're going to take it overseas there's no apologies necessary over here if you're having a down day mr 1024 savage it doesn't matter how low it guys how you being low how does that change anything? The sun is still shining, and it's going to shine tomorrow. You are going to go back up again. You are going to get your ass kicked sometimes. You're going to take a beating, but you're going to get back up. You're going to learn that positivity flows through your freaking veins. Because you're not a girl. And there's nothing wrong with being a woman. Women have lots of benefits. What I'm getting at is... They don't have the power we have. They will never have the power we have, and they can want it all they want. They can mimic it. Gentlemen, I've known full-on lesbians who thought they were strong. Guys, they weren't strong. And I got lesbian friends. I got, I've got gay friends. Well, one gay friend. <laughs> and I've had lesbian friends. Let me tell you something, guys. They don't have what we have. Not even close. There is no comparison. We can get up and take a beating for 90% of the day and the last 10%, we can get the last 10% of the day and kick ass every day. We can get our asses handed to us and still come back swinging. Because I don't know if you guys know any, no, but you are fighters, all of you. I know it sounds cheesy. It sounds cringe. Ooh, I use I use buzzwords from 2014. 
Gentlemen, you got fight in you. You take a lump every day and you keep coming back. You can take, 99% of the day you can take licks. You can lose money. You can get chewed out. You can lose your job and you can still come back. That last 1% at the end of the day, every day, I don't care who you are. I don't care if you got no arms and no legs because that's not an excuse either because I've seen a dude who's got no arms and no le legs who was a freaking coach for the NFL get used to it. Don't ever forget that, guys. You have the power. You are in control. Nobody can take that away from you. <sighs> Savage 1024. I have nothing to fight for in the West. I want to save money and leave the West behind because what's the point of working on me, but I'll get nothing in return? The channel saved my life. Wow. Dang, dude. I'm humbled and grateful. That's incredible. Of course you had nothing to fight. Guys, do you think I have anything to fight for in the West? Are you effing kidding? Look at this little lingling. Ling. Mm, I'm gonna go play volleyball. She's so short. <laughs> She's tiny. Guys, I got nothing to fight for. What, what am I fighting for in the West? I'm gonna help out my family, my brother, my sister, maybe my dad and mom, but that's pretty much it, man. <laughs> Guys, I got no fight. There's nothing to fight for here in the West. I'm 100% in agreement with you. That's why I'm, I'm putting all this together. All that little, little wing wing is back, dude. Look at her. I'm proud of her. Keep going, girl. She's doing a good job. She's tired. I can tell her arms are really falling apart. <laughs> Savage, 1024, the Punisher. I can't believe I, I saved your life. I mean, we're all in this together, gentlemen. I know it sounds silly, but we literally are. I don't care where you are in the world. I don't care if you're on the East Coast, West Coast. Midwest, living overseas, it's irrelevant. We're here to win. Period. End of story. Gentlemen, I've been so far... Guys, I've been so far down, you would just... You would... You would cringe. You would roll your freaking eyes. You would say, holy mackerel, how is this guy even breathing? And it's not a victim, you know, a, the victim Olympics. What I'm getting at is, it doesn't matter how far down you get. It really doesn't. At the end of the day, I remember a time, I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. I remember a time when I was so depressed that literally I could see no light at the end of the tunnel. There was none. All I thought about was my problems. All I, I, I'm not making this up. This was my full day. I would literally stay at my apartment and stare at the ceiling because I was so depressed, number one. Number two, petrified of leaving my apartment. I was literally, I'm not making this up, I was uh, um, agoraphobic almost. Like I was afraid of everybody attacking me and it was from all of my past. And once you guys master that, oh my God. <sighs> You're free from all the pain. Now I'm out and about talking to people and stuff. <laughs> I wasn't social at all, guys. It's a freaking weirdo. <clears throat> and by the way, moving overseas isn't necessarily going to be the uh, silver bullet and say, you know, fix all your problems, but it'll definitely change your perspective because the people are very different. The society is very different. People are going to treat you guys with some serious respect. Holy crap, I already did an hour on this? Damn. It doesn't seem like that long. Huh. Here's another Kaylee. Good job, Kaylee. I'm proud of you. She's, she's hustling, man. She's boogieing. But yeah, guys, if you ever feel down, oh, pfft, you're not alone. And we are with you. And that's why I do this channel. That's why I do two streams a day and I get demonetized every day. <laughs> I literally get demonetized. It's all right, dude. I take my lumps. Do two streams a day, they get demonetized. Now, that at least they're not getting instantly demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> they usually <laughs> uh, I have fun with this it's so much fun but I'm glad 10 1024 the Punisher we are with you we are with guys if you're ever thinking of self uh, deleting or ever that far gone it's not gonna be worth it okay if you're ever thinking about that it's never worth it
And the reason for it is because you still draw breath and you are here for a reason. You beat out all the little other sperm to get to the egg. You are here for a freaking reason. Just you being here is technically, I don't use this word often, but a miracle. And we're here to fight. There is no day you're not going to fight. For real, guys, I want you to get used to it. I want you to throw big haymakers every freaking day. Hey, Kaylee. Oh, hi. You know, I'm just sashaying around. Yeah, just sashaying around. Miss Kaylee. She has nice abs, dude. She had a nice flat stomach, a little, little line in the middle. Good job, Kaylee. I'm so proud of the little Kayleys. They're getting in shape. <laughs> I'm proud of little Kayleys. But yeah, we get to exercise our options, guys. When you go overseas, we get to do things our way. We will always have problems. But at the very least, we can tackle our problems. And we don't need to deal with any of this freaking nonsense. And that actually makes a lot of sense. Now that I think about it, Savage 1024 makes the, the Punisher makes a good argument. He has nothing to fight for in the West. Makes a lot of sense. But at the end of the day, there is, there is always, I don't, I wouldn't say hope, it's more of, de uh, more of vision and more of an end goal, right? There's always that end goal, the payoff, the victory. The victory lap. And a lot of you guys are going to get it once you go overseas and marry traditional foreign. Savage says, the one thing I hate is excuses. I've heard many excuses for many. It's like, oh, they're going through some something or, oh, she's broken. My response is, no excuses for them being C's, male or female. Well, yeah, definitely. At the end of the day, gentlemen, we're accountable for everything that's happening in our life. At the end of the day, we have to look in the mirror and say, hey, I did this to myself, and now I'm going to do something about it. I am where I am because of me. When you do that, everything turns around. Everything starts to change. Everything starts to become reality. Everything starts to become freedom. I've been at the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. And guess what, guys? There's no Here's what's really funny. My highs and lows are no different, guys. Yeah. To my Legionnaires, this is going to be surprising to you. I've been at the point where I had 50 bucks left in my bank account. Just being real. <laughs> and a ton of bills. I've been at the highest of highs. But there was no difference. And what I mean by there was no difference, there's no difference in the outcomes I'm working towards. None. I still understand exactly what I want out of life. And what I want out of life is to win, is to succeed. I'm going to take my lumps, I'm going to take my losses, but I'm going to succeed. Period, end of story. No matter what anybody says. And that's why I started this channel, because I wanted guys to get on the same page, to get off all this freaking nonsense, you know, female dating coaches, and they're telling you to come back, and oh, you know, there's good women out there, and all this, not guys, and I was like, what the hell is going on? And not only that, then I see all these guys talking about passport bros, like, what the hell is this? I'm scratching my head going, wait, 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 slow down, guys. They're talking about going overseas and going to bars and getting wives. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You guys are way ahead of yourselves. This is like nothing new. It's just rebranded and re repackaged. I was like, wait. They don't know anything about traditional foreign women. They're talking to liberal foreign women. You know what I mean? And I was like, uh-oh, <laughs> we got to fix this quickly because guys are going to start, they're going to start wiping up, you know, some scam artists. 
women who want green cards and all this other nonsense. You see what I mean? There was no separation. It's just guys shooting first and asking questions later. You can't do that, guys. You cannot do that. You gotta have a plan. <sighs> yeah, Savage is like, if someone rude or disrespectful to me, I could care less about that person's situation. I would embrace that person point blank and they could cry some more. <laughs> well, yeah. But that's why we're here. We're here to kick some serious freaking ass. And when you finally own up to everything, you look in the mirror and you say, you know what? I made a lot of mistakes. I screwed up. I did this to myself, but I'm going to fix it. Hey, Kaylee, how are you doing? Oh, you know, I'm just walking my dog with big headphones on. Having fun. <laughs> Kaylee's. They're funny, man. You can tell by the way they walk. <laughs> Kaylee's love playing volleyball, man. That's like their favorite thing to do. I don't know why. Maybe because they're exercising in the sun in the sand. It's just God, there's dog crap everywhere. Dude, you gotta pick up your dog crap, homie. Anyway. Yeah, guys, cheating. Perfectly okay. Not a problem. And you're gonna notice you're gonna have mistresses overseas. I can't believe we I've done them fourteen hundred freaking videos and we haven't talked about mistresses. That's what you get overseas. You get more bang for your buck. And this is very common, especially in Japan. Um, I don't know about South Korea. I'm going to have to look that one up. I can't remember. I'm not quite sure. If you guys want to look that one up, let me know. But for sure, Japan, China, very common. We're talking big Asian countries. Mistresses are normal. And, I'm, and also Africa. Most African countries, if I'm not mistaken, in most of these traditional countries, a mistress is almost provided for. Because they know it's an important part of a man's life. Dude, there are so many Kayleys out today, guys. It's not even funny. We're talking Kayleafs, Kaylees. <laughs> what the hell is going on? It's a Tuesday. Ah. Yeah, I was with my Chinese, and she's like, I totally understand. Just don't tell me about it. She's just, just, just don't tell me about it. And I was like, cool. I wasn't going to tell you anyway. <laughs> I wasn't going to tell you anyway, dumbass. <laughs> oh, God, we have fun on this channel. Oh, yeah, guys, I used to have RBF. My th guys, I was miserable. I never smiled before. I was always upset frustrated. My biggest thing was I was always frustrated and upset. Frustrated and upset. It didn't matter how many girls I got. It didn't matter how much, you know, I worked, drank. I used to drink myself to, I used to, I'll never forget this. I used to drink myself to sleep at night because I would have nightmares from my freaking childhood. <laughs> I'm not making this up. <laughs> it was, dude, guys, holy moly. I was a mess. But the more we have to suffer in the beginning, the more strife we go through, the more headaches we go through, guess what? The payoff on the back end is way better. It's like heaven. And that's what I love about life. You take all these lumps for years and years, you fail at multiple things, you get into all sorts of mischief, you fall flat on your face over and over and over and over again. And then all of a sudden you get one shot. You just get one shot of glory. Sorry guys, a lot of no road noise. The dogs agree, the dogs agree. See, the dogs are barking, that means the dogs agree. You get one shot and you're back in the game. You get a couple opportunities and you're back in the game. You are now back in the driver's seat. You look back and you go, oh crap, I had a really interesting journey. Gentlemen, it wouldn't be nearly as sweet. Look, if you were given all the success in the world, the victory wouldn't be that sweet now, would it? Because you didn't earn it. 
every one of you guys that are taking lumps right now, the victory would not be as sweet as if it was if it was given to you. Why do you think so many spoiled rich kids go broke? Why do you think a lot of them do not turn their opportunities into success because they didn't earn them? They didn't take their lumps. They didn't say, oh crap, you know, I fell flat on my face, now what do I do? They didn't have the opportunity to pick themselves back up. Guys have failed a lot. And now it's time for you guys to take those failures and turn them into successes. The West has a lot of problems. And unfortunately, when it comes to relationships, that's one of our biggest ones where we fail miserably. Sad. But it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to turn it around. Wow, the sunset's looking great, guys. I'm going to show you the sunset in a minute. It's looking spectacular. There's pumpkins out. It's almost Halloween. Oh, God, guys. I've lost... I've made tons of money and I've lost tons of money. I can't... If I told you how much money I lost, you guys would just... <laughs> but it's okay. Ah. <sighs> Because if you can make that much money at any point in time, guys, you can always make it again, and I'm going to do it all over again. That's how it is. I don't care how many of these guys tell you, I got a Bugatti, and I'm this and that, and it just came natural. No, it didn't. You're so full of crap. You're so full of crap. <laughs> There's a learning curve. There's a freaking learning curve, son. That is correct. See, the... Oh, check it out. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let me show you guys. Hold on a sec. Let me show you guys what's up. It's pretty nice out. It's pretty nice out on the water. The water is beautiful, sir. Out here on the docks. Oh, yeah, guys. You're going to take your loans. But the payoff is you get to cheat on your wife. <laughs> I love cheating on my wife. <laughs> That's the payoff. My payoff is I get to cheat, uh, cheat over and over and over again. <laughs> the best is if you just tell her, hey, you, you, well, before you even get married, you let her know, well, you're gonna, I'm going to have side chicks. That's how it's going to be. So deal with it. Don't deal with it. I don't really care. So, but it is entertaining. <laughs> just say, <laughs> Say I've got five side chicks, wife, soon to be wife. You better deal with it. You best believe they are going to be lined up. And by the way, I don't think you should keep a bunch of side chicks. They're going to be headaches. I don't agree with that. But if you need to get your needs met, I don't blame you guys. And this is, again, this is nothing. On, I don't understand why people are like, oh, that's horrible. This is morally irreprehensible. And you're so full of crap, you moralists. You're the biggest hypocrites of them all. The morally reprehensible. You're so full of crap because you know you would do it if you had the first chance you get, and you probably already have. <laughs> you probably already have done it, and you just don't want to admit it out loud. You know? It's unbelievable. My feet are tired. Oh my god, guys. I already did a stream today. Shoo. But I get energy from you guys. We're live. Savage says, do you remember that video AT did where he was boasting about how alpha he was and you could read her body language and she was uncomfortable? I think, it, what was it, the um, when he went out on the date or something, I think? I think so. Look, to, to him, I mean, <laughs> top G is top G. He can do... I've talked about this a bunch, guys. If you have, if you have to be hyper masculine, then you're overcompensating, and that's not a dig at him. It's he literally has to be hyper masculine in order to overcome all the masculinity that he's experiencing from all these chicks out here. And as we've, I've gone over before, guys. Alpha male energy and all that nonsense is again, it's an imbalance. Because with hyper-masculinity comes hyper-femininity, comes overcompensating, 
and it doesn't exist. You can't be hypermasculine anywhere in the world. It just doesn't work. And I'm not saying he should change what he's doing or I get where he's coming from, but at the end of the day, hypermasculinity does not make sense and it cannot be sustained. What the hell is that? You can't sustain hypermasculinity, guys. Just like you can't sustain hyperfeminine. All these women who are angry and bitter and masculine can't sustain who they actually are. And that's why their little ideology always falls apart. So, it is what it is. It's unfortunate, but... Hold on a sec. It's pretty nice. Oh, I think you might be... We might be able to catch a seal, guys. Sometimes they just pop up for... I don't know why. There must be fish around here. It's kind of strange, huh? But... I don't think it's really necessary at the end of the day to promote hypermasculinity anyway because in the long run, it's all going to even out. I get why he does it because so few guys have masculine influences. Their fathers are weak. But it really can't... It can't be sustained. So, more power to him, though. Uh, Savage says it was in Romania with his brother. Well, they got hemmed up for a lot of that stuff now, <laughs> now didn't they? Yeah, and again, I don't wish them any ill will. I think, I think, I think their overall message is they're 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 trying to promote something very specific. But unfortunately, the rest of the 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 world is not going to comply with that. Even, guys, even in patriarchal countries, there's no, there's no hyper-masculinity. There's none of that. You don't have to thump your chest and you don't need to do all that stuff. Because guys are already in charge. They set the rules and then women, in turn, discuss these rules and enforce them. Women overseas are the enforcer of their own rules. That's what happens and that's why... The F word can't exist overseas. Ooh, it's nice out today. Let us keep it going. Yeah. Ow, my freaking foot. Oh, I think my foot is dead. Needs a break. Whew. Let's go all the way around, guys. But yeah. <laughs> Uh, I love it. And if I did get in a relationship again, I would let my significant other know ahead of time. I'd just be like, this is how it's going to be. Take it or leave it. And your TFW will comply. Guys, if you're up front with your little TFW, she's, she's going to go along with what you're doing. See, what's really great about all this when you're with these foreign, born, traditional, conservative women who have all this, they have all this knowledge passed down from generation to generation. They've got God on their side. They've got religion. They've got all that stuff. Now, they look to you to be their hero. To be the guy they looked up to. To be their rock. And that's why, guys, I know this sounds really silly. This is going to sound ridiculous to you. But like when I went out with traditional foreign women, they didn't even hold my hand. Sometimes they would just hold my pinky. I'm not making this up. They would hold my pinky finger. And there's a reason why they do that. Haven't you guys ever noticed they want to hold your hand? They want to, they want to connect with you. Be physical because, guys, you are their protection. Deep down at the end of the day, you fulfill a massive role that you, you literally fill her with joy and energy. And in turn, she is going to fill you with joy. Because she's always happy. Almost always. It's very rare to see a traditional foreign woman upset. Very rare. With a frowning, resting, biatch face. I don't think so. So when you guys are on your purpose... When you guys are good men, 
when you guys have given up all that the convenience of the West and, you know, the bad attitudes and all this other nonsense, all of a sudden you're given a massive gift, which is a traditional foreign woman who understands you need to get your needs met. And sometimes, by the way, your traditional foreign woman is going to be more than willing to satisfy you when it comes to bedroom activities. But sometimes ladies can't keep up. Right? Sometimes they have that time of the month. Sometimes for whatever reason. Now, guys, they're never good. Here's one thing. They're not going to deny you. It's just the heat down. Let's be honest. Can we be honest for once, guys? You guys like variety. Guys like variety. At the end of the day, they're always going to like it. And we have to embrace this. We have to stop being afraid of embracing this type of stuff. It's okay to be masculine, but hyper-masculine is a little crazy. And Savage24 says, 1024, they're trying to force people to be hyper-masculine instead of letting people think and be themselves. We need to ask our sons what they want to do instead of telling them what they should do. Yeah, there's a big chunk of that. There's a big chunk of that. Our sons also, though, do need structure, and they do need discipline at a young age. If you go too hard on them, you're going to make them completely, you know, you're going to cower at every turn. If you're too soft on them, they're going to be soft like baby turd. So it's kind of a delicate balance. I don't think guys in the West are hard enough on their children because they've got such a matriarchy slapping them upside the head. But no, hyper-masculine is a little too much. In many ways, I'm not going to lie, my dad was hyper-masculine. He had some of that energy. Just a little too much. And I'm not criticizing him, I'm just saying that was the way he was. And for me... It made me cower to people for a long time. It made me defensive. Oh, yeah. We're works in progress, gentlemen. But at the end of the day, we get the opportunity to step out. And by the way, it's another way that you show your traditional foreign woman that you're the king, that you're in charge. And she knows this. She knows this and she is, she derives so much pleasure and happiness from holding your pinky finger, from being a part of your life. Gentlemen, I've had girls write me full on little haikus and poems about how much they value me being in their life. Because again, this helps guide them. They're not like us, guys. They don't have... You know that most, most women just aren't self-starters. And it's not anything they're doing wrong. It's they just genetically do not have what it takes. They don't understand how to start their day. They don't understand how to think ahead. They think in the moment. This is just how they're hardware. So without us... They're really lost. You can see it in the Western women today. They go straight to hyper, hypergamy. They go straight to getting into all sorts of mischief because dad isn't around to give them any structure, which gives them no purpose. Ouch. What it really boils down to is weak, simp men at the end of the day. What's up, Kaylee? She's a little, she's a little embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed, Kayla. You're doing a good job. See? She's she's doing a good job. I'm proud of you, Kayla. I'm really proud of her. But yeah, at the end of the day, you give them a ton of direction. You give them a ton of opportunity. You know what? I'm going to go around. It's too noisy. You give them all the protection that they need. Safety. Yeah, I'll never forget the, this little Chinese I was seeing. 
she wrote me all these haikus and poems and you know she wrote about how how much i changed her life and it was so great i was in her life and i was like man i barely even did anything but what it was really was is that she valued everything that i was doing she valued everything i brought to the table why are they all blocked off over here what's going on it must be painting or paving or something But that's what they really, really value. And at the end of the day, guys, you bring so much to the table, you don't even know. So you never want to discount what you bring to the table, ever. And guys are starting to get it in the West. It's just going to take way too long. It's going to take generations, multiple generations, for guys to understand, hey, we're extraordinarily valuable. In fact, we are more valuable than we've ever been. Because guys, to my legionnaires, we make more money than we ever have in history. We have more at our disposal than ever before in history. We contribute to society even though a lot of guys are walking away. They're still contributing because they're making society move. They are making society change by walking away. As we've always said, walking away is the most powerful thing a man can ever do. And that's what's happening in society right now. Guys, for the first time in 60, 70 years, people are like, oh crap, guys are walking away. Oh crap, maybe we better get our act together. <laughs> so for 60, 70 years, guys have been saying, hey, this isn't right. Hey, you ladies are crazy. You're out of control. But no, the simps are like, no, that's perfectly fine. Go ahead and uh, screw up society. Well, Mr. Society, Mr. Leftist, how's that worked out? Well, the divorce rate is higher, uh, you know, but uh, divorces can be good. You know, you got these progressive weirdos talking about how divorces can be a good thing in domestic, right? the, the, the DV word. And, you know, girls, girls go through more. More crap in marriages. Are you for real, son? What evidence is there of that in these conservative countries? I want you to produce that. My guys don't go through enough crap in Western marriages. You know what I mean? <laughs> these, guys, these, these Western guys make no sense. The weakest, the left, and they're always a young dude with barely any chin hair who hasn't experienced anything, who has, who's barely even dropped his huevos, and he's out here talking about, oh, oh, I know everything, and uh, Crimson Capsule, and uh, this is, oh, this is just, oh, this is too much. You could say it's too much till you're blue in the face, but it's the backlash for all the years of guys taking crap. Oh, the sun's down now, gentlemen. It is nice. Oh, it's so cool out yeah oh yeah time to take off the sun hat oh i probably have a dent in my freaking head just call me mr dent head yeah oh yeah oh it's nice out. it's nice and cool coolio bro oh yeah i got a full head of hair son it's just really thick ah <sighs> 10 to, uh, Savage says, if she's a spoilt brat, her dad's completely hypermasculine. Because hypermasculine men, not to only grape their sons, that's where the defensive behavior comes from. That's an interesting theory. Or he could be a complete pushover and say, you get whatever you want in life. So it could be, because guys, at the end of the day, a lot of these hyper, look, I agree with you in some ways because a lot of these hyper masculine guys are the biggest simps on the planet every dating coach and game guy oh i'm gonna run game uh-huh right son <laughs> and by the way why would you run game on a girl who's already been ran through what does that e what does that even mean oh look at this little kaylee man she is running dang kaylee go damn i can't even catch her she's so fast Where'd she go? Go, Kaylee. Go, 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 go. There she is. See her? She's running. That is a fast Kaylee, man. I can still catch her. I got wheels. 
These legs can fly. Just need a stretch. <laughs> Kayleaf is running, man. Where are you running to, Kaylee? Uh, you know, I'm just getting hip. I'm gonna cook myself some rice and some chicken. I'm gonna make a little salad on the side. It's gonna be delicious. <laughs> Kayleaf. But Savage is right in many ways. Yeah, these hyper masculine guys are very simpish guys. Holy moly. Because they're ultra hard on. Have you ever notice? And I'm gonna go with you on this one. Haven't you guys ever noticed that hyper masculine men are really hard on men? And they're really soft on women. Like uber gooey soft. Oh, those as you know, you would now. How would you, how could you say that about my wife? Okay, honey, whatever you say. Hyper masculine, any guys, as we've discussed, is hyper compensation. They're compensating for something. Lack thereof. And I'm not trying to shame, guys, I'm not trying to shame them. I know where their heart's at. They're trying to make a change. I get it. <laughs> but unfortunately, they're just a smidge misguided. <sighs> Killing the game. Don't worry, gentlemen. You guys are gonna you guys have no idea how many opportunities are coming to you. I I, I <laughs> it's like not even funny how many opportunities are coming to you. It doesn't matter where you are in the world as a guy, you are literally gonna have an overabundance of opportunities. We're talking leftover Kayleys. We're talking post wall women. We're talking Kaylees, Kayleafs, um, traditional foreign women. You've got all these women who cannot get any freaking attention. Oh, there's Kaylee right there. Well, you know, hey. Hi, Kaylee. How are you doing? I'm just looking at my phone. I'm going to smack into a pole in any second now. <laughs> and there are so many Kayleys out today. It's like, I can't even keep up. Because a lot of boys raised by hypermasculine dads tend to have more trauma from ab1234 use and may develop some form of men, one, two, three, four, towel problems. They shouldn't be parents. Well, yeah, there's no doubt about it. And that's why anywhere where you have to overcompensate, guys, you're going to ruin your kids. You're going to hurt your children. I'm not a parent, but I've seen too many kids come from these households. And it's sad because at the end of the day, you need balance. And that's why it's best, if you guys are going to have a family, to go overseas and raise them in a traditionally conservative country. And they're going to be a lot happier. Woo! But yeah, cheating is fun. <laughs> and your, your, your TFW is going to love you more for it because you're going to be more in love with her. You need a mistress, gentlemen. They even have a term for it. It's a mistress. Okay? It's pretty common overseas for a reason. I don't care how many of you F-ism ladies are out there. You're never going to change this. Whew. But I digress. Definitely donkey punch the like button. And on the way out, guys, finger the subscribe button. Comment in the comment section. Share this stream. Become a Legionnaire member. I appreciate all you guys. All your support. Ah, make it happen. Wade and the boys. Damn, she's faster like Austin. Uh, I think you meant Usain Bolt from my family's hometown. <laughs> yeah, guys, there's some, I'm telling you, there's some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Kayleys out here. And I'm not exaggerating. You know how, you know, it's funny. This is another thing I, I can't stand about hyper masculine men. They constantly simp. And if you guys ever notice the Kayleys that I point out, I'm hypercritical for a very, very specific reason. Because, gentlemen, my standard for perfection is very high. And the reason for this is because I've grown up and been to the biggest cities in the world, and I've seen the most beautiful women in the world. I've seen them. I've known them. Here, she's back. Look at her go. Look at her go. Go, Kaylee. I'm so proud of you. Go, girl. Go, go. Man, she's pacing it. She is pace, Dude, I don't... I think I could out-sprint her, but I don't know if I could outpace her, man. Jesus Christ. 
I'm proud of you, Kayleaf. Keep it up. I'm so proud of you. Dude, girls getting... I'm telling you guys, the ladies down here... So anyway, one of the main reasons I have such a high standard for perfection is not only growing up these cities, but knowing so many beautiful, attractive women. Being around the millionaires. High value and all that stuff. And it's interesting because... Hyper-masculine men will be very soft on these girls. Oh, you're still pretty. No, she's... But guys overseas are very honest. If your daughter is ugly and you are a father overseas, you're going to let your daughter know you're never going to be beautiful. But that's okay. You can still get a good man. This is how honest fathers are overseas with their daughters. And I know you guys say, well, I couldn't do that to my daughter. Gentlemen, you have to. You have to be real with your daughter and let her know, hey, you're not winning any beauty contests. And by the way, it's actually the mother that says it more than the dad. You're, you know, you're too overweight. You know, your face isn't very pretty. So you're going to have to work very hard in life. They're honest with their kids up front. And you may think that'll create a complex, but it creates a much stronger daughter and it makes, it makes her much more focused. Instead of talking about how she's going to be an Instagram model at 350 pounds, yes, you fat influencers out there are dying left and right. Talking about fat acceptance and you're dropping dead in your 30s and 20s. Another one of these fat influencers just d dropped dead. What was his name? Waffle69? Guys, he was 28 years old. Dropped dead. Heart attack. Eating too much. And you want to tell your girls fat acceptance? I don't think so. Anyway, I don't know how I got on fat, fat acceptance. Oh, I was talking about... <laughs> <laughs> we got to be honest with our kids, man. We got to be real with them. Feeding them all these freaking lies. Just let them go off and hurt themselves and damage themselves and be delusional. No, you're gonna you're gonna know how it is. I was because I was looking at that one. You know, she's in tip top shape too. Ah, dude, are you kidding me? She's back. <laughs> Look at her go, dude. She's flying. Good for you, Kaylee. I'm so proud of you. Damn, dude, she's got she's got wheels, homie. <laughs> she's flying. I think I've seen her around here, but. He's like a tip-top man. Her body is spectacular. But anyway, my standard for perfection is very high, guys. I've met only a few nines in my entire life, which most of you guys are the same thing. You're only going to meet a couple in your entire life because they are literally almost flawless. These guys, oh, she's a 10. Oh, she's a 10. You're so, guys, most guys have only seen Instagram 10s, which are not 10s. They're actually 4s or 5s in the real world. They've got a bunch of different lighting and angles. Son, if you have not met a, a real world 9 or 10, you're full of crap. Oh, she's an online 10. Get the hell out of here. And by the way, if you haven't been to a major city like London, a big city, Tokyo, Seoul, South Korea, Los Angeles, Miami, Dallas, big cities. You have probably never seen a nine in your entire life. New York City. I don't like New York. It stinks. It's the smelliest city on the planet. But they still have some really, really beautiful women. And it's no knock on you. I'm letting you guys know you have an opportunity. You go to Manila. You go to these big, big, big cities. You are going to see... Unbelievable amounts of top, top, stunning, beautiful women. You're gonna drop your jaw's gonna drop and hit the floor. <sighs> Savage twin twenty four the Punisher. And the way the hyper masculine man's daughter behaves in is entitled, narcissistic, rude, egotistical, and judgmental. While their sons count deletion behind their back, they don't care. There's another Kaylee. Yeah, pretty much. And guys, I'm not for hypermasculinity. You got to put it away. If you're a hypermasculine dude, you, you need to get some balance in your life, son. Because you're going too far. And it's going to come back to bite you in the ass because nobody's going to go for it. By the way, the reason why hypermasculinity sells 
is because guys need that to get the masculinity that they lost. So, I mean, you think Andrew Tate is hyper-masculine. Guys, if you go back to 80s action movies, they, they were so freaking... It was like getting a testosterone injected right into your freaking veins. Because they were overcompensating for all the feminine thrown at them. So, well, regardless, gentlemen, we're going to get back to square one. We're going to get back to reality, which is guys cheating and girls understanding that that's perfectly okay and that we still love them, but we're going to get some on the side, whether you like it or not. <clears throat> Don't to punch the, the like button on the way out. I appreciate you, gentlemen. We're going to kill it this year. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Share this stream. Become a Legionnaire member. We are going to the next level. Ah. And as always, gentlemen, I'm always watching you. <laughs> so let's get to it.